What's Freedom doing? Huh? What's Freedom doing? So I have vowed to no longer complain about the cold because everybody living north and east, oh my gosh, I feel so bad for you. This is why I've been talking about the grand solar minimum. But today is Friday. It's June 5th, 2018. As you know, my name is Jill. And I want to start doing the Friday videos where I just kind of talk to you because it's really hard to not just want to talk to you, but most people don't care. And so I think the other videos will be contained in and of themselves. And uh, once a week or so, we will sit down and have a little bit of a chat. And so there's just a couple things I wanted to go over. And I wanted to say uh, more clearly, thank you so much for everybody's uh, support and well wishes and thoughts about this last week. I've kind of been in a fog since the beginning of December when I figured all this was going on with the cat. And so I feel like I'm just starting to wake up again, starting to see what's going on with the world again, seeing <laughs> all the mess I've created and have not dealt with in the last uh, month. So uh, I'm coming back to life, getting refocused, ready to begin our journey again with a little bit more clarity in my vision and my thinking. And so uh, a couple things. One, YouTube is at it again. They're demonetizing everything um, and they're disappearing comments. In fact, I saw one this morning I really wanted to address and I will in just a moment, but poop. It always seems like it's the comments I really want to read that uh, I may have glimpsed at an earlier time or it's in one of the feeds and it's not in the main feed so I can't see all of it. So I'm not ignoring you. I have no idea what's happening with that. So yet again, YouTube is at it. Uh, two, um, as you saw with the last two videos, we're starting to take a little bit of a turn because I'm, it's really hard for, uh, you know, our world has changed. We used to read a whole book that had one question and it brought, took you through the whole thought process. And I have like all this stuff I would like to talk about, but you can't do it in a five or two, well, five minutes because most people watch less than five minutes, a little t five or 10 minute video on one tiny subject completely out of uh, context or order, maybe for the complete thought. So this is something that I'm struggling with. I appreciate your patience as it looks like I'm kind of all over the place. Actually, there's a long game, but I'm trying to pull it all the pieces in a way that I think the YouTube format allows us. I love video. I think it's a great medium to communicate, but it's not a very clear, precise path, like if you just open a book and you start from beginning to end, because a lot of people show up in lots of different places. Um, so I don't know what to say about that too, uh, or next. Uh, one of the other things that I am wanting to share with you is that, you know, I am a one-on-one -on -one person. I like to have one-on-one -on -one conversations. And so uh, that's part of my struggle. I've been trying to answer, you know, everybody's emails and comments individually. Uh, I don't do everybody and some people disappear or your email comes in with a, the address is wrong. So it doesn't go back to you. And so that's a little bit hard for me. I like to talk to one person. I like to see what they're thinking, feeling, and then the conversation goes from there. You can't do that in this format. So it's actually forcing me to find a different voice. So I appreciate your patience with that process. Really interesting though, um, which brings me sort of to the next thing, which I touched on in the last video. And, and that's one of my concerns is, you know, this kind of relationship and, uh, so I, you know, want to toss that out at you that it's, uh, that it's, you know, the more I read about artificial intelligence, the more I read about the business plans of social media and the history of social media, the more, you know, the, the veil is lifted. It's about consume, consume, consume. It's very uh, manipulative. It's very much about getting your attention. And so we're walking a fine line together here in which I do want you to think uh, I want to ask questions. I do not want to manipulate you into uh, paying attention to my thoughts and questions. And so we're in a very interesting world where we've always gathered information. So I don't think we should down uh, to uh, negate communication and information gathering because, you know, it started with 
you know, one-on-one -on -one conversations it's in small groups. People went to lectures. People read books. Uh, people sought other people out. So it isn't a new idea looking to each other to exchange ideas. It is in a new form that is now being heavily manipulated and crafted. Um, and do not underestimate the power of people who understand this in terms of marketing to you and creating a message for you that gets you sucked in. So, so one of the mandates you know, that I have uh, when I was looking at my website the other day, it's really to create conversations between cultures and generations. And that really is the point to all this. And that was actually the comment was that, you know, I think too much. And uh, when I was walking this morning thinking about thinking about that is that uh, the comment was deep thinking and I thought you know deep thinking is like deep breathing that's where all the value comes you know most of us shallow breathe breathe we've talked about that before most people only use 10 to 12 percent of their lung capacity because they hunch but deep breathing you know in for four hold for four exhale it's only when oxygen gets down into the lower lungs and cleans out the old air that actual healing and health benefits occur. Shallow breathing just really sets off the stress response. And I thought that's a perfect analogy for shallow thinking that's manipulated by fear techniques, that's manipulated emotionally. All the things that people do to gap, capture your attention is very shallow and creates that stress response, which creates you know more fear, more anxiety. And people like to sell you things when you are fearful and anxious. And so it's deep breathing that calms you down and brings you health, which then creates deep thinking, which really allows you to see past the superficial. And and so you know there's a lot of big stuff happening right now. You know the the grand solar minimum stuff. I think is going to start to be more prevalent as we're getting our first little inclinations about what that might look like. Uh, you know there's constant political upheaval. There's war. There's economic issues. Even if some people are having a recovery, other people aren't. Uh, there's our individual lives. You guys have shared tremendous stories about what you're going through. And there's just a lot going on. But it's easy to get stuck in the fear, stress, response of all of that. And so uh, part of this very slow, gradual process in terms of having a video conversation as opposed to reading a book is how do we look at all that stuff without freaking out, which shuts us down, or putting us in a high state of fear, which then creates a, a very marketable opportunity in which to suck you in, um, versus we have to think about it a little bit, or you're pretty much left with your pants pulled down. So uh, that is kind of the thinking process that goes on with me, and it's not anything I completely understand. I kind of think we're in new territory. Uh, it's it's being, uh, some people are really good at it. Other people are still learning it. Uh, so for me, kind of the final piece to all of that is, is whenever you write uh, an email or write a comment, I actually get a tiny uh, energetic signature. So I get a sense of who you are and I do feel connected to you. I can see you in a little tiny way. Um, and so for me, there is an exchange, um, but it isn't the kind of exchange that's very satisfying for either side because it's not a real exchange. But, you know, I want to say that so many people do public things because they want people to pay attention to them because the energy is coming to them and that fills them up and makes them feel good. And uh, the truth is, is it makes me feel very uncomfortable. Like I said, I much prefer a one-on-one -on -one conversation. But uh, we can't do that here, but I, you know, I want to share with you that I'm not doing it because I want you to pay attention and listen to me like I know what I'm talking about or thinking about. I do it because even though I don't do well in groups, complete shutdown in groups, I'm okay in this kind of format or standing in front of a, lot, a large amount of people, uh, but not interacting in a group level. So this allows me to share with you ideas that I hope will start the conversation, even if it's in your own mind or with another person, because to me, that's the best way I know how to care about other people is to give what I have. And what I have is, as that one guy said, deep thinking um, about a lot of stuff, but trying to present it in a way that's gradual and not overwhelming that really starts the conversation. And to me, you know, what I talked about last time is love, strength, and suffering. 
Um, everybody has suffering. The way out of suffering is to access our love and our strength. And love and strength have to go together. And love to me isn't about what's romantic. I think that's a hijack. Love is, uh, you know, love thy neighbor, love the world, love life itself. It's the most powerful force in the universe. And how does that get utilized in a way that uh, we both benefit? So that's more deep thinking about what's going on <laughs> behind the camera and in my head as we craft these little videos. So again, I just wanted to do Fridays as kind of an off the cuff. Uh, this is kind of what's going on. Hopefully, you know, head is being pulled out of the sand. We'll go back to cleaning up, getting back on track, figuring out what I'm going to do with this trailer, trying to find some people to help me fix it. Uh, there's lots to be done. But I just wanted to stop in and say thank you again for sharing this journey with me. And we'll take even another deep breath as we go away here today. And I hope you will rise with the sun in your eyes, love in your heart, feet firmly on the ground as together we walk on Survival Road, one step at a time. I hope you will live free and die wild, and I will see you next time.